I was caught up hanging around with the wrong people. I was always at school late. I slept on couches. Like I was all on my own. Nobody really knew the situation. And now since I met Coach Griner, he's been a big part of my life. He took me home a couple times. Like I told him different places to drop me off at, and then he just asked me one day, where do you stay? And then after that, I just broke down to him. I started noticing when I was taking him home, there was no home. It was different every time, and it made me see that he didn't have a lot of stability. Obviously, it was difficult because he wasn't able to play the year before because of his grades. I knew I was better than what I was doing, but I was under a 2.0. So I asked my wife, I said, we got to give this guy a place to stay. He's, he's a great kid. My husband mentioned there was this kid that was in his class, and he didn't have any food. He was coming to practice hungry. He didn't have a family. He didn't have certain things. He just needed a chance, and so he started living with us about nine months ago. This is my big bed. Uh, this is my home bathroom. And ever since then, greatness is, he's has almost a 4.0 GPA, and he's leading our football team. When I first moved in with Coach Garner, it was a little awkward, but now I feel a part of the family. I do chores now. I help a lot with the girls. I babysit sometimes and play Barbies with them a lot. When you're around him, he's radiant. There's something special inside him. He's a very soulful person. That's what makes him a great leader in things. This year, um, we didn't have a quarterback when we started off. He stepped up and played a major role in us, making it to the playoffs. He's a good leader on the football field. When he started living with Coach Garner, um, you can say how he developed into a better person. We're a faith-based family, and that's all it takes. It's just like the situation, what would Jesus do? And that's exactly what he would have done in the situation, provided a house for him to be part of the family. Someone caring for me like that is really great. Coach Garner is a father figure to me. I love the kid. He's got a great heart. I want him to be successful at life itself. Be a vessel that other people want to look to. And he already does that for this team. I want him to do the same thing he does for the team out there in the world. Be a great leader. Be a great father one day. Be a great husband one day. That's what I want from him. And everything else will take care of itself.